Good evening, Mrs. Sandler. So we're very glad that we uh, can be here with you tonight to interview you. I'm going to go through the, through the questions. The first one is about you, a training in psychoanalysis. How did you uh, decide to become a psychoanalyst? Ah, <laughs> that brings me uh, back a long time because all through my adolescence, I knew I wanted to do something with children and I was very interested in education. But uh, what was difficult for me is that I didn't know what I really wanted to teach. I wanted to uh, observe children's development and I wanted to be with children and see how they connect to each other. But I wasn't really so very interested in teaching them anything. So uh, when I um, finally uh, decided to learn psychology, I met amongst my professors there a psychoanalyst called Baudouin who was working in Geneva and I thought that what he was saying was absolutely fascinating and it also allowed me to uh, feel that I hadn't been a naughty girl because I had read some papers of Freud in Great Secrets feeling that it was all very dirty because it was all about sex but now very respectable people were saying that Freud was a genius. So I decided to, to but I wasn't ready to, to yet consider working with adults. I felt rather immature, I must say, I was a slow developer. And um, so I left Geneva to come to London to do the child therapy training that Anna Freud was offering. And that's how I then gradually got into analysis proper. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do you think your mentors were when you arrived in, in London? Oh, I think uh, there is no doubt that my, one of my uh, Swiss mentors was Binswanger, who I knew well, and also Baudouin, who had been my teacher. But as soon as I arrived in London, I was very taken by Anna Freud. She was a very shy woman, but when you got to know her, she had a clarity of thought which was quite extraordinary and a passion for what she do, did, which I also enormously enjoyed. And uh, I had some very happy years with her in doing the training. Now, during my analytic training at the Institute, um, I still felt very influenced by Anna Freud but I was also very, very happy to hear of different views because Anna Freud was, of course, uh, only teaching Freud and it felt a little bit like being in a monastery and I was glad of, to have the freedom. And I was very taken by the teaching of uh, Rosenfeld. He was also very nice to me and I read everything he had written and I, it was often difficult for me to understand, but I thought it was fascinating. And also Bowlby uh, interested me because of the quarrel he had had with the, the whole establishment, because for me...